In this lecture, we are going to learn about something known as assignment operator. So what are assignment operators? So C++ provides us a feature which is known as operator overloading. Okay. So it says that as you can work with simple variables like if I define int a is equal to 3, b is equal to 4, c is equal to 2 and let's say I do c is equal to a plus b then it should work fine okay or in fact if I just do c is equal to a so whatever is in the value of a it should be copied to b but if I have a class length line okay so in that we store the length of the line okay it's a very simple class which just stores the length of the line so now if you do if you simply write that okay line is a class and i make l1 comma l2 okay so now if you do l2 is equal to l1 should it work so if you are using object oriented programming you will like that objects behave very much similar to your variables in c so you need to provide assignment operators so that your class behaves exactly this way that when one object is made equal to another object it really becomes equal so how is it done and your answer is assignment operator so that's your answer so let's see how it works so we will take a look at one simple class line it has a member int star p length okay so it stores the pointer to a its length the length of the line and we have get length set length display the length okay and then here we have some constructor copy constructor which we read in the last class and finally we have the assignment operator so how we write the assignment operator is that we have whatever we return for operators we write return type okay so this is the return type then you write the keyword operator and then what operator you want to overload so here it is equal to and then similar to the function argument so what do you want to pass so i want to pass basically the object which i want to my object to be assigned to so here i pass const line ampersand so a constant reference to a line object which i want to make it equal to my object okay so let's see so we have line so we want that okay line one should be line two should be make equal to line one so how should this be done so we will see the implementation of our operator okay operator overloading assignment operator so here it is so we are returning when you make an equal to assignment so line ampersand it returns so a reference to your object that you are trying to make it equal to and that object also is taken as a const reference okay so const line ampersand rhs so i'm just for debugging purpose i'm saying that okay i am in assignment operator then we before looking let's look here so we have a pointer p length so we make star p length is equal to so we have p length is a pointer so again we want to copy rhs dot p length so we copy it here the value okay next what happens is that you return the this pointer okay the which is basically the value in the this pointer is returned so the reference is returned for that now what is this if this is equal to so if somehow by mistake you write something like line one is equal to line one okay what will happen in this case okay so in this case if you don't check that your p length is equal to if i make star rhs dot p length so it will be something like if i have a variable a I'm making it to equal to a a is equal to a so something like this will happen which is we should not be there so if this is there so we just try to return because they are the same object so I try to return the same object okay so this is the case where if by mistake you write the same object instance as the same object instance this will just return the value 
So now let's try to run this piece of code and see for ourselves that this works. Okay, so I'm just returning this object. So we have we're trying to make our object instance equal to some given object instance and that's why we we first copy them okay from that rhs and then we return start this so now let's try to see line line 10 i make one object line first line line 2 initially i have given it the value of p length as 5 but and then i do line 2 dot display it will display the value of length of line as 5 then I do line 2 is equal to line. Now I expect that line 2 also has the same value as line. And if you do line 2 dot display, it will show that its length has changed. That's what I expect. Now let's try to run it. So if we run this code, so line line 10 normal constructor for allocating p length. Then line 2 also normal constructor was called. Line 2 dot display, you will get a value of 5 for the length then i make line 2 is equal to line so there is an assignment operator was done so this is called assignment operator was called that function now you do line 2 dot display it says 10 so this is basically showing that assignment operator how it works so i hope you understand this thanks a lot